<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Go Eevee, where I have just picked up where we left off exactly last time, being tackled by an extremely tiny Pidgey who apparently really wanted a piece of me. I actually specifically was trying to avoid this little one. I mean, who wants to go and have to like manhandle a tiny little baby Pidgey? It's just doing its own little Pidgey thing. Uh oh, okay, come on. There we go. But I guess this little one, maybe it smells all the delicious berries that I'm carrying around and just really wanted some of that. So here we go. We got a small Pidgey. Come along, little one. There you go. Oh, and it had a quick candy too. Quick candy larges. What? Oh my gosh. Well, chickenberry actually, maybe it was coming to chickenberry to like roost near chickenberry for comfort. That's really adorable. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh, it's only nine inches. It's just the smallest thing. Maybe it was coming over to chickenberry because chickenberry is now a Pidgeotto. I love the idea that it was looking for a bigger bird that it could roost with and be safe with. Birds do love traveling in flocks after all. So let's actually say that it was coming for chickenberry. We'll be giving that Pidgey to Professor Oak to research anyway. And I want to see, wait, what's a Magikarp candy? Increases all stats by one? <laughs> Possibly just for Magikarp. And there's a Pikachu candy for Jewel? I didn't, I didn't even remember picking these up. It must have been while I was taking my Pokemon on walks in the Pokeball. But Jewel, let's go ahead and give you the Pikachu candy. Uh, a candy that's packed with energy. When given to a certain Pokemon, it will increase all their stats at once. Well, that sounds exceptionally useful. So Jewel, there you go. Jewel just got stronger, and every single one of her stats have increased because of that delicious candy that she got. And then let's actually find... It was the Quick Candy Large, right? I'm pretty sure that's what the little the little um, Pidgey brought us. Oh, and it's only for Pokemon level 30 or higher? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna give a Quick Candy Small to Chickenberry. Because I love the idea that that is what was brought. Uh, and let's actually give a health, increase HP, or maybe it should be attack stat. Let's give a mighty candy and a health candy to the Charmander. Because I feel like she really, what else is low? Defense is also low on her. And speed. Hmm. So we could level up a lot with her. So what's her lowest one? Defense. But there we go. We'll give her a couple candies so she feels better. And what does Courage Candy do? Packed with energy, special defense. We just need like normal defense actually. Attack, HP. I love getting all these candies. Okay. Well, speaking of getting candies, if we want to get more, we need to catch more Pokemon to send to Professor Oak and take some of our Pokemon on walks. But since so many of our Pokemon are now tired and also passed out, it's probably a good idea to get out of here. So Chickenberry, why don't you go ahead and become, since apparently all the little Pidgeys love you, the first Pokemon in the party. Whoops, let's dodge that Psyduck. And let's see where we're headed. Whoops, let's walk around you. We'll battle you later. And let's see if we can get, oh, I really want to get back into the, back into the city. There's actually something up there we might want to snag. Hmm behind the gentleman. If he drops something, we probably want it. So we're actually gonna turn around. Uh, oh no, I forgot. I've never seen you around. Are you good? <laughs> and we're caught up in the battle. But I love that guy. So yeah, as usual, if you're not here for the role play, I don't know why you're here because I love role playing everything I do in every game I do. And I just love the idea that Pidgeotto, or Chickenberry Pidgeotto, is now starting to attract attention from the smaller Pidgeys uh, because she now knows Roost. She can also protect the smaller birds and that's why they come up to us. Or I should say the smaller flying types, excuse me. And then plus once she gets to help them out a little bit, then we can send them to Professor Oak. Look, she even sees tiny birds. That's so cute. But we can send them to Professor Oak and they can be researched. Come on, you can do it, Chickenberry. Yay, she still managed to use quick attack. Fantastic. I need to get Jewel healed up so we can use Payday. I hate to battle without getting that extra money, shaking them down for their change. All right, thank you, Solar Elijah. I just want to get whatever that gentleman dropped. He's so rich, he probably dropped something good. 
Alright, there it is. Good job, Pikachu. Ooh, guard spec. Huh. That's gonna be... Actually, what is that? That might be something that our Charmander might want. Is it a power-up? No. Is it a battle? It is. What is this? An item that prevents stat reduction among the trainer's party Pokemon for five turns after it's used in battle. Hmm. Interesting. Not quite what I thought it would be, but I just really want to get... Oop, dodge, dodge, dodge. I just really want to get lots of candies that will help... Oh. I forgot about this too! <laughs> that will help our Charmander. I just want to take my Charmander to be healed, guys! Scoot, scoot! Alright, let's see what these campers are up to. A little bell sprout, huh? I can't remember if we're strong against plant types or if plant types are strong against us. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use quick attack just in case. Chickenberry, use quick attack! Meanwhile, in real life, Chickenberry is taking a nap, so she's not being very quick about anything. Alright. Alright. Come on. Quick attack! We can get this little one before he's a problem. Nice! There we go. I love how the bell sprouts have their roots in the ground to really hold themselves tightly in place. This stinks! I couldn't beat your challenge! Thank you! I will take your great balls. Now let me pass, Kidlet. Okay, run before the other one wants to fight. Phew! And here we go! You guys, check it out! We are now in Vermilion City. This is fantastic. There's the little Squirtle that I think got in trouble with Officer Ginny. We will talk to them in just a second, but I want to heal my Pokemon. I do not like having any of them fainted, and I really think that Charmander is feeling pretty upset because she wanted to defend everybody, and instead she passed out. How not cool. There we go. Alright, and our Pokemon should be all better now. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. And we're actually going to... I think the Psyduck is done stealing candy out of our candy jar. And because we're in Vermilion City, I think Kaching might want to come out, our Gyarados, because it's a big water city. But I also feel like maybe one of the Vulpes that we picked up, maybe the 16 level one, what are their personalities? Let's actually check the personalities of the Vulpins that we picked up last time. Docile and likes to thrash about. And I want to figure out the one that we're going to keep. Quirky and somewhat of a clown. And then the very first one we ever got. Naive and scatters things often. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna go ahead and say that this level 16 one is probably the one that we'll keep And I think that she is actually feeling pretty bad for the Charmander and these two are gonna be good friends So like I said, if you're not here for the role play, I don't know why you're here. Uh, wait, no, come back here Come back here, but I do think Kaching is actually gonna come out I was gonna put the Volpez in here, but we're gonna swap Psyduck out because Kaching has big waterways that she can investigate. All right, speaking of investigating, let's actually go check in with Officer Jenny. She was standing next to a suspicious Squirtle. All right, suspicious Squirtle, Officer Jenny. Hmm. I just caught a Squirtle. It was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Oh, wow, you've caught 61 Pokemon? You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Of course I would! Yes! <laughs> Alright, Kaching, You're gonna have to rest a little while because we just got the troublesome Squirtle. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a little boy! I think he was part of the Squirtle gang. He's a little teeny bit underweight, but not terribly much. And he shoots water at prey while in the water, withdraws into its shell when in danger. So I wonder if that means that he likes to eat fish as well. I think that Kaching would maybe growl at him a little. How's Squirtle doing? And we've got him! All three of the wonderful starter Pokemon are now ours. Kaching, no offense, I just really want to hang out with the Squirtle and get to know him a little bit. Uh, but was he actually a troublemaker? Or does he just have a bad reputation? Let's find out. He's careful. He is mischievous. He is careful and mischievous, for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so he's actually a bit of a troublemaker and we'll have to be careful having him in our party, but I'm excited to do so. Hello. I get sweaty after doing sports, so I feel all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from ocean sludge. Not sweat, I guess. Interesting. All right, so let's take, oh, wait, hello. Pikachu, what do you think? Jewel is sniffing the salty air. <gasps> oh my gosh, hang on. Which Pokemon do you prefer? The Poppy Pokemon Growlithe or Scratch Cat Pokemon Meowth? Um, I actually really, really love Meowth. Oh, you didn't have to answer. I knew it. Sorry, it was a silly question. If you catch five of the Scratch Pokemon Meowth, I'll give you a pretty Pokemon. You can ride on its back. I have caught five Meowth. Yeah, I have caught five Cat Scratch Meowth Pokemon. As promised, take this pretty Pokemon. Wait, what? Arnica- Arnicane? Wait. Oh my gosh! So if you answered the other one, then you would have gotten a Persian? What? This woman just gave one away? Hello? He's 300 pounds! He's a legendary, like, little Pokemon thing. He's not, like, a legendary legendary, because you can actually catch Growlithe, but you guys! What? A legendary Pokemon in the East. Many people are charmed by the grace and beauty of its running. What just happened here? We just... When an adorable puppy Pokemon Growlithe evolves, it looks like this. Aw, it's adorable as ever. Arcanine is the best. Hmm? Why did I make you catch cat scr scratch cat Pokemon, then give you a puppy Pokemon? Because I wanted to see if your preference would stay the same. Even after seeing so many Meow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's actually so clever. If you take Ar uh, Arcanine out of its Pokeball, you can ride on it and move really fast. What? That is so cool, you guys. We just got, like, two Pokemon handed over to us. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Charmander, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna let her rest. Because we are in a water city. Well, I mean, Arcanine's also a fire type, but still. Let's try this out. Alright. And then, how do I take out of Pokeball, travel alongside... What if I want to ride you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Do you see this? This is amazing! This is absolutely amazing! We are traveling in style now! Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. What even? This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I, I had no idea they were so big. In my head, I always thought of Arcanine as like puppy sized always like maybe dog size but they're so much bigger than i thought this is so cool we will definitely be riding on arcanine this is why you don't have a and look at the way he runs this is why you don't get bikes this is so cool oh there's a volpez let's go get it just really quickly oh my gosh <gasps> volpez is probably like oh my gosh run that is so cute oh all right so I'm kind of in love. We just got a, a suspicious Squirtle and we just got a wonderful puppy Pokemon uh, who's a, kind of a big puppy. Whoops, that was kind of a rough toss on my end. Ah, that was kind of a wimpy toss on my end. Focus, focus. Oh my gosh, no, I might have to sync my switch again. There we go. Phew, I got a little overexcited there. But we just got tossed two free Pokemon in Vermilion City. Before we even really get started on anything, I don't know how I feel about that, but hopefully everything will work out okay. Uh, and let's head back into the city and see what we've got. There you go, Volpez. We'll see what we have got waiting for us. So that was very exciting. I do, however, really love Jewel. So when we are inside of cities, I will keep Jewel with us for sure. Arcanine is super useful for riding around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually, no, 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 no! I want to jewel out with me. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and we're actually going to, if I can, we're going to stop messing with any of that. It's a tiny Volpez! Okay, 
and I'm gonna catch this tiny Vulpes because I can't help myself. And we will explore Vermilion City next time. So I hope you guys are ready for more adventures. If you could, please leave a like to give our beautiful Arcanine and our suspicious Squirtle a wonderful little bit of support. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then do please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Yes!